The following is a pre-recorded video podcast, originally available on http colon forward slash forward slash triple w dot anchor dot fm forward slash video gamers oasis and spotify in the third game of the adventure game series zork you are once again a nameless adventurer only this time you won't travel through a beautiful magical land but are immediately cast into a deep dungeon like in a dream you hear a mysterious voice telling you that you have passed all the tests but one when consciousness returns to you you find yourself on the endless spiral of stairs with only your trusted lantern near you will you be able to survive the horrors of the dungeon hi this is jeremy from video gamers oasis speaking welcome back to new gamers oasis stay tuned Thanks for tuning in. We're back again with Text Adventure Tuesday, and we are in the third installment of the Zork series, where we've just defeated recently. If you've been tuning in last episode, we recently defeated the uh, Wizard of Frobaz. We overcame him, we got his magic wand, and now we are descending into the dungeon. After going into a, a crypt of the royal the royal family, we are descending into the dungeon in the game zork 3 dungeon master i hope you have hope you're ready for a fun adventure with your favorite snacks your favorite beverage we're going to get right into the game zork 3 the dungeon master i i really do enjoy these these adventures uh these really retro adventure games uh that we that force us to use our imagination so we're back and we're ready to have some more fun i hope you're uh Ready to get get the game on? We're gonna. We've already started the started the game. Actually, to be quite honest, I'm going to go to my infocom, and we're we're gonna play for an hour because I want to take some herbal tea after this, folks, and a wind down. I'm a little wound up, a little bit uh, a little bit uh, excited, a little bit too much. So I want to have a little herbal tea tonight. And after this adventure and uh, ease up ease on down into my comfy bed but we're gonna st start we're gonna establish a nice beginning for our adventure and by the way I'm having a uh, I have a new um, microphone I hope you like it it's a headset microphone I hope you can hear my voice clearly it's not a wireless one like the other one I bought before I still have that one it's great it's, it's great for for doing you know exercise videos and if I ever do those again but uh, it's it's uh this is much better because this this microphone is connected to a USB port and it has a good uh headset uh what's the brand it's uh it's one of these oh it's called Logi L O G I is the brand and it's a really good uh, head, uh I find it really helpful um this the recording mic is really good so I hope you can hear it leave your comments below if you found it helpful or not helpful an improvement or not an improvement worse or better thank you so much for tuning in and uh, hearing me drone on for an hour this is going to be an hour of text adventure gaming and then we'll call it quits for the night because we just want to get establishment of the story so we're going to start reading the game this is the very first episode of zork 3 the dungeon master here we go as in a dream you see yourself tumbling down a great dark staircase. All about you are shadowy images of struggles against fierce opponents and diabolical traps. These give way to another round of images, an imposing stone figure of, pardon me, of images of imposing stone figures, plural, a cool, clear lake, and now of an old, yet oddly youthful man. He turns toward you slowly, his long, silver hair dancing about him in a fresh breeze. 
You have reached the final test, my friend. You are proved clever and powerful, but this is not yet enough. Seek me when you feel yourself worthy. The dream dissolves around you as his last words echo through the void. Zork 3 The Dungeon Master Copyright 1982 by Infocom Incorporated All rights reserved Zork is a trademark of Infocom Incorporated Release 17 forward slash serial number 840727 Endless Stare You are at the bottom of a seemingly endless stair, winding its way upward beyond your vision. More. An eerie light coming from all around you casts strange shadows on the walls. To the south is a dark and winding trail. Your old friend, the Brass Lantern, is at your feet. Okay. Wow. 11 minutes later. All right, folks. We're back. Uh, I've decided to, even though I started without the walkthrough, um, I, I was goofing around for a while, and I decided, you know what? I'm going to play the game anyway and see how far I can get. Um, this time I have the walkthrough by SwimYBO. I'm hoping this will be much more structured of a structure of a walkthrough than with just uh, going um, going foolishly into the into a dungeon without actually having any kind of map or, or guide so we're at the junction look here you are at the junction of a north south passage and an east west passage to the north you can make out the bottom of a stairway the ways to the east and south are rel relatively cramped but a wider trail leads to the west. Standing before you is a great rock. Embedded within it is an elvish sore. So according to the Swim YBO, which is a really great YouTuber, I've used his walkthroughs before for Zork 1 and 2. Now we're using it for Zork 3. Let's see if what we can... Um, so if we take the sword, we try to take the sword, according to try to take the sword what happens take sword who do you think you are Arthur so apparently it will not let me take the sword because it is a bit deeply embedded in the rock so after that we want to go east damp passage this is a particularly damp spot even by dungeon standards you can see a crossroads to the west and two nearly identical passages Lead, south, lead east and northeast. A stone channel, wide and deep, steeply descends into the room from the south. It is covered with moss and lichen, and is far too slippery to climb. The channel crosses the room, but the opening where it once continued north is now blocked by rubble. Let's save our game as Damp Passage. We've already done this, but we're gonna do it again. Okay, damp passage. What do we go, where, where do we want to go this time for the damp passage? We want to go back west to the junction. Standing before you is a great rock, embedded within it. It is an elvish sword. They want to go south. Creepy crawl. You are in a dark and quite creepy crawlway with passages leading, leaving to the north, east, south, and southwest. Let's save as Creepy Crawl. Creepy Crawl. Okay. Alright. Now I want to go south. Foggy Room. You are in a dank passage filled with a wispy fog. A spooky passageway leads north and a wider path heads off to the south. To the west, the path leaves the rock and enters an eerie, shadowy land. 
Let's save our game as Foggy Room. Okay, so once we arrive at the Foggy Room, we want to go south. Lakeshore, you are in a wide cavern on the north shore of a small lake. Some polished stone steps lead to the southeast, and a sheer rock face prevents any movement around the lake to the southwest. The cavern is dimly lit from above. So now, what, what do we need to do? What's our next step here? Turn off lamp. Turn off lamp. The lamp is now off. Then we do drop lamp. Drop lamp. Dropped. So let's save this game as Lakeshore dash drop lamp. Okay. All right. Now that we do that, what's our next step? We want to go in the lake. All right, go in lake, the lake. On the lake. In, go in the lake. You are nearly paralyzed by the icy waters as you swim in, into the center of the lake. On the lake, you are floating on the surface of the lake. The water is ice cold and your ability to survive here for, ver for long is very questionable. A swim north puts you on your starting point. Conditions to the east are poor where the lake turns into swamp. The west and south shores are suitable for walking, however. All right, this is really dangerous, so I better decide what I want to do with this water, with this lake. Okay. What does the walkthrough tell me to do? It could be... What is something very important? Go down? Underwater, you are below the surface of the lake. It turns out that the lake is quite shallow and the bottom is only a few feet below you. Considering the frigid temperature of the water, you should probably not plan an extended stay. The lake bottom is sandy and a few hearty plants and algae live there. You catch a brief glimpse of something shiny in the sand. Aha! Could be some treasure. Let's take the shiny. Take shiny. You reach the shiny object. It is a simple golden amulet. Well, that was worth it. Let's save as underwater. <clears throat> we'll save this as golden dash amulet. All right. We've saved their game as a golden amulet and it tells me to type in G take G G I can't see the shiny object anymore the icy waters are taking their toll you will not be able to hold on much long longer you run out of air and return to the surface on the lake Inventory. Recurring a golden amulet being worn. Excellent. So I've got the amulet still, which is good. I'm going to go west. Western shore. You are on the western shore of the lake. The ground here is quite hard, but a few sickly reeds manage to grow near the water's edge. The only path leads into the rock to the south. Let's save our game as Western Shore. Western dash shore. November the 29th.
apparently I'm supposed to go back into the lake already. Go down. You can't go that way. We've taken the shame. We've taken the amulet already. We don't need to take it again. So why is the walkthrough telling me to go back down again? I got the amulet, so I don't need, I don't need to carry it again. So obviously that was uh, an error on his point. But we've we've got the amulet, so let's go south. Scenic vista. You are in a small chamber carved in the rock, with the sole exit to the north. Mounted on one wall is a table labeled Scenic Vista, whose featureless surface is angled toward you. One might believe that the table was used to indicate points of interest in the view from this spot, like those found in many parks. On the other hand, your surroundings are far from spacious, and by no stretch of the imagination could this spot be considered scenic. An indicator above the table reads two or two um, or the number eleven. Mounted on one wall is a flaming torch which fills the room with a flickering light. Let's save our game as Scenic Vista. Scenic Vista. November the 29th, 2022. All right. Take torch, take torch, taken, inventory. You are carrying a torch and a golden amulet being worn. The indicator above the table fl flickers briefly, then changes to three. So we have a score of one and moves 24. Let's save a scenic vista. Dash torch. Okay. Apparently, I'm supposed to wait. Wait. Time passes. Wait again. Wait. Time passes. The indicator above the table flickers briefly, then changes to four. Wait. Time passes. Wait again. Wait, time passes. The indicator above the table flickers briefly, then changes to one. Wait again. Time passes and wait again. Wait. Time passes. The indicator above the table flickers briefly, then changes to two. It now I'm instructed to touch the table. Touch table. Room number eight. This is a small chamber carved out of the rock at the end of a short crawl. On the wall is crudely chiseled the number eight. The only apparent exit to the east seems to be a blur and a loud whirring sound resounds through the rock. A spray can is in the corner. A large type in large type is legend Froba's magic grew repellent. This was in last episode, last uh, game of Zork 2. We'll save this as room 8. Room dash 8. 
All right. All right. What's the next step after this? To take the repellent, take repellent taken. So it's inventory. You are carrying a Frobaz magic group repellent, a torch, and a golden amulet. Being worn, you suddenly find yourself back in the viewing room. We want to wait again. Wait. Time passes. The indicator above the table flickers briefly, then changes to three. Touch table. Touch table. You touch the table and are instantly transported to another place. We're in the damp passage now. Okay. Drop the torch. Okay, drop torch. Dropped. Want to uh, wait. Time passes. You suddenly find yourself back in the viewing room. What's our next step after that? We want to go north, western shore. Let's save our game as western shore. Place it, okay. Western shore. And then we want to save. We've saved our game already. But the walkthrough tells me to... What's the next step after that? Do, 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 do. What's the next step? Well, go in lake again. Go in. No, I can't be right. I've already been there already. Okay, maybe apparently I have to go in the I have to go in the icy waters anyway. Um. There's a lot of swimming in this episode, in this game, I noticed. Go in lake. Go in lake. The shock of entering the frigid water has made you drop all your possessions in the lake. Want to go down. Underwater, there is a Frobaz magic rule repellent here. You on the lake. The... Want to go south. Southern shore. You are on the south shore of the lake. Rock formations prevent movement to the west and thickening swamp to the east makes the going all but impossible. To the south where the beach meets a rock formation, you can make out a dark passage sloping steeply toward upward on, into the rock. I'd save that as Southern Shore. Southern Shore. Let's look at our inventory. You're carrying a golden ambulance being worn. 
Nothing else. I think. Let's look. I didn't get my guru repellent. Oh. Let's see uh, if I have um if I can go back a bit. Because I I seem to have lost my um. Gonna go back to the western shore. Let's look. You are on the western shore of the lake. The ground here is quite hard, but a few sickly reeds manage to grow near the water's edge. The only path into the rock, the only path leads into the rock to the south. So let's inventory. We got the Frobaz magic grew repellent and a golden amulet. So we need to keep that. That. Uh, grew repellent on our per per persons we, we can't lose it so what do we have to do here in order to keep our go in lake go in lake the shock of entering the frigid water has made you drop all your possessions in the lake inventory gold take um, repellent. You can't see repellent here. Let's go underwater. Um, look, you are, you are floating on, on the lake. You are floating on the surface of the lake. The water is ice cold and your ability to survive here as long is very questionable. A swim north puts you at your, at the, your starting point. Conditions to the east are poor where the lo lake turns into swamp. The west and south shores are suitable for walking. However, the icy waters are taking their toll. You will not be able to hold out much longer. Go underwater. Uh, can't go that way. Underwater. Um, go s south. You are at the south shore of the lake. Rock formations prevent movement to the west, and thickening swamp to the east takes the growing, going all but impossible. To the south, where the beach meets a rock formation, you can make out a dark passage sloping sleep, uh, steeply upward into the rock. You're carrying a golden amulet being worn. What did I do wrong here? Apparently I'm supposed to hang on to my magic rue repellent. Let's see if we can take this from the top. Um, open, save game. And uh, Western Shore, look. You are in the Western Shore of the lake. The ground here is quite hard, but a few sickly reeds manage to grow near the water's edge. The only path leads into the leads into the rock of the, to the south. Um, inventory, take repellent. You already have it. Throw repellent south. That sentence is one I recognize. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find a way of, of getting the repellent into the water without without losing it.
trying to figure a way to uh, hang on to my repellent. Go in lake. Okay, inventory. Go in lake. The shock of, of entering the frigid water has made you drop all your possessions in the lake, into the lake. On the lake. Okay. Now that we're on in the lake, we dropped, dropped our impress. We gotta go down. There underwater. There is the Froba's magic root plant here. Take root repellent taken okay thank goodness I found it I was wondering all right now we want to go you on the lake the icy waters are taking their toll you will not be able to hold on much longer now we want to go south to the southern shore. You are on the southern, south shore of the lake. Rock formations prevent movement to the west, and thickening swamp to the east makes the going all but impossible. To the south, where the beach meets a rock formation, you can make out a dark passage sloping steeply to up, upward into the rock. Let's look at our inventory. You are carrying a Frobaz magic rule repellent and a golden amulet being worn. Excellent. Save our game at southern shore. Southern Shore grew repellent. So we have our guru repellent. It's very important that we hang on to that because we, we may meet some kind of guru or these nocturnal monsters that will attack me if I don't have it on. So now that we have it, we want to apply the repellent to our cells. We have 10 more minutes and then we're going to quit the game for tonight. So apply repellent to me. The spray smells like a mixture of old socks and burning rubber. If I were a Gru, I'd sure stay clear. Excellent. So we've applied the Gru repellent. And we want to go south. It's pitch black. Go south again. There are sinister gurgling noises in the darkness all around you. It is pitch black. The ground continues to slope upwards away from the lake. You can barely detect a dim light from the east. So we're in a dark place. So let's save our game as dark place. Okay, we want to go E, east. Key room, you are between some rock and a dark place. The room is lit dimly from above, revealing a lone, dark path sloping down to the west. To one side of the room is a large manhole cover. The light from above seems to be focused in the center of the room, where a single key is lying in the dust. We'll save this game as key room key room take key taken that horrible smell is much less pungent now I'll oh, save this as key room Key taken dash. Okay. I'm going to move manhole. The cover is moved a bit to one side, revealing a small hole leading into darkness. Oh my. What are we going to do now? I want to go d down. Aqueduct. You are in a wide stone channel, part of the water supply system for the great underground empire. 
The source of water was a waterfall to the south, which has long since dried up. Water flowed along the aqueduct to the north. This region is lit from above, although the source of light is not apparent. It saved the game as aqueduct. Aqua duct. All right. Now we want to go north. North. High arch. You are now on one of the tallest arches of the aqueduct, hundreds of feet above a rocky chasm. The immensity of the aqueduct project is apparent from here. Stone supports rise from the rock floor to form massive arches, which traverse the region from so north to south. The water-carrying channel here is wide and deep. To the west and far below, you can make out a balcony, which must command a wide view of the aqueduct. Let's save our game as high arch. High arch. November 29th, 2022. Now we want to go north. Water slide. You are near the northern end of this segment of the aqueduct system. To the south and slightly uphill, the bulk of the aqueduct looms ominously, towering above a gorge. To the north, the water channel drops precipitously and enters a rocky hole. The damp moss and lichen would certainly make that a one-way trip. Let's save our game as water slide. Water slide. Okay. Then we want to go north. No, we want to not north. We want to go north again. Yes, north. Damp patches. There is a torch here, so I think we're back where we started, which is good. We got what we need, I think. There's a torch here. Do we want to pick up the torch, according to the walkthrough? Ah, <sighs> we do now once we got the torch what are we going to do once we're in the damp passage well take torch taken inventory you are carrying a torch a strange key a frobaz magic repellent and a golden amulet being worn all right so far so good So once we go to that torch area, once we pick up our torch, we've taken the torch now. What where 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 do we go now? Taking the torch, want to go. Oh, whoa, 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 I missed that part. There's a junction of it to go, but I, I missed that walkthrough. Take torch. Okay, what's up? What's up to take torch? West. Junction. Standing before you is a great rock embedded within is an elvis sword we've arrived back at the beginning but we've arrived with many treasures let's save as as junction we'll save as junction dash with treasures november 29th 2022 and on that note folks we will 
It is uh, is 1228. A few more minutes, and then uh, we're going to uh, call it quits. But I'm I'm going to save the game and just to make sure I've saved it. As Junction with Treasures, November 29, 2022. And there we have it, folks. We had a great time. Last uh, week, we were uh, starting the game of uh, Zork 3, the Dungeon Master. And we ended up at, at the Junction. The uh, sword in the stone, the elven sword in the stone, after obtaining many precious treasures through many very difficult ordeals. We're back. And our inventory is, you are carrying a torch, a strange key, a Froba's magic guru repellent, and a golden amulet being worn. And uh, I've been using the walkthrough from Swim YBO for the Zork 3, th uh, the Dungeon Master. He's been very helpful. I'll provide a link to his channel. He's a very, and his video as well. He's very helpful in getting me, getting me through this game. But we're really making progress here. We're really having a good time, and uh, I'm really excited about where our adventure will take us this time. I'm just getting my reading glasses so I can read the small print of us walk through. Now we we are, we're at the uh, junction, full circle. We we started off at the junction at the beginning of the game, and now we've ended last episode with the junction. Now this time we're going to go west, so we're going to type in. W for West. As soon as I get my program working, type in West. Barren area. You are west of the junction, where the rock-bound passage widens out into a large, flat area. Although the land here is barren, you can see vegetation to the west. South of here is a mighty wall of stone, ancient and crumbling. To the southwest, the wall is decayed enough to form an opening, through which seeps a thin mist. A trail dips sharply into rock terrain to the northwest. Now, according to the walk, though, we have to do another west. I think we have to do two more west. So let's see what happens when we type west again. We're at the cliff. This is a remarkable spot in the dungeon. Perhaps 200 feet above you is a gaping hole in the Earth's surface through which pours bright sunshine. A few seedlings from the world above, nurtured by the sunlight and occasional rains, have grown into giant trees, making this a virtual oasis in the desert of the underground empire. To the west is a sheer precipice dropping ne nearly 50 feet to jagged rocks below. The way south is barred by a forbidding stone wall, crumbling from age. There is a jagged opening in the wall to the southwest, through which leaks a fine mist. The land to the east looks lifeless and barren. A rope is tied to one of the large trees here and is dangling over the side of the cliff reaching down to the shelf below. It seems as if somebody has been here recently, as there is some fresh bread lying beneath one of the other trees. You catch, out of the corner of your eye, some movement among the trees. Just a moment, get my beverage here. More. Press enter. All right. So apparently we have to take the bread. Where is that bread? I'm just trying to find the fresh bread. Take bread. Taken. We'll save this game as Cliff. <coughs> Excuse me. Cliff. And we'll date this as December the 13th. 
2022. Very good. Now we want to go D, down the cliff ledge. Cliff ledge, down. This is a rock-strewn ledge near the base of a tall cliff. The bottom of the cliff is another 15 feet below. You have little hope of climbing up the cliff face, but you might be able to scramble down from here, though it's doubtful you could return. A long piece of rope is dangling down from the top of the cliff and is within your reach. A large chest, closed and locked, is lying among the boulders. I want to take the chest. Well, first of all, I'm going to save this game. Save our. I like to save often in case something happens. Always good to have a safe spot. Save ledge, cliff ledge, dated December the 13th, 2022. Now we want to go take the chest. Take, chest, taken. Open the chest, open chest. The chest is locked and cannot be opened. I wonder if the key would help. We Apparently we have to wait. We don't want to use the key. We want to wait. Wait. Time passes. At the edge of the cliff above you, a man appears. He looks down at you and speaks, Hello down there. You seem to have a problem. Maybe I can help you. He chuckles in an unsettling sort of way. <laughs> Perhaps if, if you tied that chest to the end of the rope, I might be able to drag it up for you. Then... I'll be more than happy to help you up. <laughs> he laughs again. Okay, so we've met the man at the cliff with the chest. Now what are we going to do with this dude? Okay, well, it's apparently I'm, we're supposed to tie chest to rope. Tie chest to rope. The chest is now tied to the rope. The man above you looks pleased. Now, there's a good friend. Thank you very much indeed. He pulls on the rope and the chest is lifted to the top of the cliff and out of sight. With a short laugh, <laughs> he disappears. I'll be back in a short while, are his last words. So let's save this game as Cliff Ledge. Tie chest to rope. There we go. So uh, if you're just tuning in for the first time, you're tuning in right now, I just want to let you know this. You're listening to Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. And every Tuesday is Text Adventure Tuesday. I'm playing the Text Adventure Fantasy RPG game, all text, called Zork 3, The Dungeon Master, the third installment in the, in the Zork series. We are in the dungeon, deep within the dungeon, and we are at a cliff ledge. We've tied a rope to a locked chest, and this man on the top of the cliff, who I cannot see, but he's calling down to me, said he'd help me out with the chest. So he pulled it up. I tied the rope. He pulled it up, and now he said he'd be back in a short while. So I don't know what's going to, what this dude's all about. We're going to find out. Uh, this is, um, what time is it? It's, uh, this is a pre-recorded recording, obviously, uh, video gaming, and um, it's uh, 4.45 p.m. according to my clock, and I'm probably going to be finished around, yeah, I'm going to be finished after 5.45 just to make it an hour-long gameplay. So we'll try to give, I'm going to work on getting you some good value, a value, valuable entertainment and walk through for an hour. So I do appreciate you listening. And we're going to continue on. We're supposed to um, wait three times. Wait. 
Time passes, there is a great tremor from within the earth. The entire dungeon shakes violently and loose, loose debris start to, starts to fall from above you. So this is what we wanted, I, I think. Oh, okay, the walk. Not yet. We're waiting for the man to come back. To, so we have to um, wait again. Wait. Wait, time passes. Wait a third time. Wait. Time passes. A familiar voice calls down to you. Are you still there? He bellows with a coarse laugh. <laughs> well, then, grab onto the rope and we'll see what we can do. The rope drops to you to within your reach. Okay, so let's grab the rope. Grab rope. Grab rope. You grab securely onto the rope. The man starts to heave on the rope. And within a few moments, you arrive, excuse me, you arrive at the top of the cliff. The man removes the last few valuables from the chest and prepares to leave. You, you've been a good sport. Here, take this. For whatever good it is. I can't see that I'll be needing one. He hands you a plain wooden staff from the bottom of the chest and begins examin examining his valuables. The chest, open and empty, is at your feet. So let's save our game as cliff ledge, grab rope. Save this as going to retype this. Cliff ledge, grab rope. And we'll save that as December the 13th, 2022. Now that we've accomplished that. So let's look at our inventory. Inventory, you're carrying a wooden staff, a piece of whey bread, a torch, a strange key, a Froba's magic guru repellent, and a golden amulet being worn. Your quote-unquote friend examines his valuables with great pride. All right. Very nice. So, so after we obtain the wooden staff, what, what's our next, our next um, step we need to take? According to Swim YBO, okay, we want to go down D cliff ledge, and we want to go down again. To cliff base. You are at the base of a steep cliff. Directly above you is a wide ledge and far above the that above that some natural sunlight can be seen. To the northeast is a steeply climbing path and the ground becomes sandy toward the south. I want to save that as cliff base. Cliff base dated December 13th, 2022. Okay. All right, so far so good. After we arrive at the cliff base, we want to go south. Hang on here, just a moment here. South to the Flathead Ocean. You are at the shore of an amazing underground sea the topic of many a legend among adventurers. Few were known to have arrived at this spot, and fewer to return. There is a heavy surf, and a breeze is blowing on shore. The land rises steeply to the east, and quicksand prevents movement to the south. A thick mist covers the ocean, 
and extends over the hills to the east. A path heads north along the beach. We will save this as Flathead Ocean. Flathead Ocean. Dated December 13th, 2022. Okay, something new is happening. Passing alongside the shore now is an old boat, reminiscent of an ancient Viking ship. Standing on the prow of the ship is an old and crusty sailor, peering out over the misty ocean. Okay. There's a sailor on a Viking ship. What do we want to do with this guy? We want to type out, Hello, sailor. Hello, comma, sailor. Hello, sailor. The seaman looks up and maneuvers the boat towards shore. He cries out, I have waited three ages for someone to say those words and save me from sailing this endless ocean. Please accept this gift. You may find it useful. He throws something which falls near you in the sand, then sails off toward the west, singing a lively but somewhat uncouth sailor song. So we'll save this as Flatted Ocean. Hello, sailor. Hello, sailor. Dated December 13th, 2022. So, what does he give? Take vial. Let's well, let's look at it first. Look at, look, just look. Look, you are at the shore of an amazing underground sea, the topic of many a legend among adventurers. Few were known to have arrived at this spot and fewer to return. There is a heavy surf and a breeze is blowing on shore. The land rises steeply to the east and quicksand prevents movement to the south. A thick mist covers the ocean and extends over the hills to the east. A path heads north along the beach. There is a vial here. The boat sails silently through the mist and out of sight. Take file. Taken. And we'll save this as flatted ocean. And we'll save this as vile. Vile. Taken. Okay. We want to examine the vial, not just look at it. Examine it. Examine vial. It is a small, transparent vial, which looks empty, but is strangely heavy. Okay. Our score is three, and our moves 99. We've still got a ways to go. So our next step, after we examine the vial, Going through the walkthrough. Hello, comma, sailor. Nothing happens anymore. That's no good. You can't do anything about the sailor. We want to go, go east. Land of shadow. You are in a land of dark shadows and shadow, shallow hills which stretch out in all directions. To the west, the land dips sharply. I save our game as Land of Shadow. Land of Shadow, December 13, 2022. There's something new here. Through the shadows, a cloaked and hooded figure appears before you 
blocking the northeastern exit from the room and carrying a brightly glowing sword. From nowhere, the sword from the junction appears in your hand, wildly glowing. Okay, I remember playing this earlier off camera. This is a very uh, this is a very dangerous level in the game, and I'm not quite sure. It's a score of four, moves 101. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Let's see what the walkthrough says with this uh, shadowy figure and the glowing sword. Okay, am I supposed to meet this shadowy figure? Yeah, apparently I am. So once we meet the shadowy character, what do we do with this dude? Attack? figure with sword. Attack figure with sword. A sharp thrust and the hooded figure is badly wounded. The figure has some wounds and is probably not capable of hindering your movement. The hooded figure thrusts, but you fight back and send it flying to the ground. Okay, so that's... Just... How's it going, Mom? A few right, minutes that, later. Uh, my mom called uh, not too long ago, a few minutes ago. Wanted to drop by with some homemade cream of uh, broccoli soup. God, God bless my mom. She wanted to bring some dinner. So uh, she'll be here. I don't know when she'll be here, but, but I'll make sure to edit out. I just wanted to um, quickly get some, some gameplay in before she comes for dinner or just drop off that dinner and I'll tr try to edit uh, the video in a more attractive way. In the meantime, I want to take advantage of what we can do here. We're going to continue to battle the shadowy figure and I'm just going to see what we can do here. So without having to press, uh, without having to type, retype uh, attack figure with sword, we're just going to have to, we just have to type in the letter G to repeat the uh, process. I can't see the sword anymore. The hero figure catches you off guard and wounds you. Let's go back. I don't know what happened here. So let's land of shadow, attack figure with sword, and press type G again. A good slash, but it misses by a mile. Your quick reflexes cannot stop the hooded figure's stroke. You are hit. Okay, that's not good. We need type G again. A good parry. 
Your sword wounds the hooded figure. The figure is hurt, and its strength appears to be fading. The hooded figure attempts a thrust, but its weakened state prevents hitting you. Type G again. A quick stroke catches the hooded figure off guard. Blood trickles down the figure's arm. The figure appears to be badly hurt and defenseless. <clears throat> the hooded figure attempts a thrust, but is, its weakened state prevents hitting you. Type G again. The hooded figure, fatally wound and wounded, slumps to the ground. It gazes up at you once, and, and you catch a brief glimpse of deep and sorrowful eyes. Before you can react, the figure vanishes in a cloud of fetid vapor. Excellent. We defeated the shadowy figure. Now, after we defeat the, f the shadow, what do we do now? According to the walkthrough by Swim YBO. Okay. Let's try that again. I want to, I want, I want something, I want to, I, I want to un, unhood the, the shadowy figure. I wasn't able to do that. So let's re, uh, reopen our save game. Okay. We're going to type in G. The hooded figure is hit with a quick, quick slash. The figure is hooded and it's hurt and its strength appears to be fading. The hooded figure attempts a thrust, but it's weakened state prevents hitting you. Type G again. A sharp thrust and the hooded figure is badly wounded. The figure appears to be badly hurt and defenseless. The hooded figure attempts a thrust, but its weakened state prevents hitting you. Type G again. Your opponent blocks your attack with a sword. The hooded figure attempts a thrust, but its weakened state prevents hitting you. Type G again. The hooded figure, fatally wounded, slumps, slumps to the ground. It gazes you up at you at once, and you catch a brief glimpse of deep and sorrowful eyes. Let's, we, I should have, on, on, I should have, let's do it again. Um, type G. The quick stroke attacks, catches the hooded figure off guard. Blood trickles down the figure's arm. The figure is hurt, and its strength appears to be fading. The hooded figure attempts a thrust, but its weakened state prevents hitting you. Let's take hood, comma, cloak. Take hood, comma, cloak. Hood. The hooded figure, though recovering from wounds, is strong enough to force you back. Cloak. The cloak is fastened around the neck of the hooded figure. It would be difficult to remove. The hooded figure attempts a thrust, but its weakened state prevents hitting you. Type G. The cloak is fastened around the neck of the hooded figure. It would be difficult to remove. The hooded figure attempts a thrust, but its weakened state prevents hitting you. Attack figure with sword. A good parry. Your sword wounds the hooded figure. The figure appears to be badly hurt and defenseless. The hooded figure attempts a thrust, but its weakened state prevents hitting you. Take hood, comma, cloak. Hood. You slowly remove the hood from your badly wounded opponent and recoil in horror at the sight of your own face, weary and wounded. A faint smile comes to the lips, and then the face starts to change very slowly into that of an old, wizened person. The image fades, and with it, the body of your hooded opponent. The cloak remains on the ground. Cloak. You are now wearing the cloak. So let's save the game as Land of Shadow. Take hood and cloak. All right, folks, we did it. We took the, ho the, f the hood and the cloak. Now what do we do? We take a, we want to inventory. 
You are carrying a cloak being worn, a hood being worn, a sword, a vial, a wooden staff, a piece of white whey bread, a torch, a strange key, a Frobaz magic group repellent, and a golden amulet being worn. I'm, I've got to mention, this uh, big spoiler alert for those who haven't seen the movie, this, this part of the game reminds me of the scene with Luke Skywalker in Dagobar with uh, Yoda in the Empire Strikes Back. When he has to battle, we has to go into the cave and deep into the jungle and battle Darth Vader. But it turns out to be his shadow self that he was battling. So I find that kind of a cool there uh, homage. Now we're going to go east. East, land of shadow. You are in a dark and shadowy land. All around you are, a ge are gentle hills and eerie shadows. Far above, shrouded in mist, you could barely make out the ceiling of the enormous cavern that spans this entire land. A few minutes later. Okay, so we're we're in the eastern section of the Land of Shadow. Next, we want to type in E for East. We're in the Creepy Crawl. Okay, so for the Creepy Crawl, I had previously um, when I made this video. I typed in Creepy Crawl and I dated it December the 13th, 2022 and saved that file. We want to type in letter E for East again for tight, we're in the tight squeeze. This is a very low and narrow passage leading East to West. So let's save that again as tight squeeze. This time we'll date it as December 13th, 2022. There we go. We saved that file. Always good to have a backup file. Okay, so after the tight squeeze, we want to type in E for Crystal Grotto. This is a chamber of breathtaking beauty. Mighty stalagmites form structured shapes of rock encrusted with crystalline formations. Phosphorant mosses, fed by a trickle of water from some unseen source above, make the crystals glow and sparkle with every color of the rainbow. This is an opening to the west and a man-made passage head south. Wow. We've made it to the Crystal Grotto. So what we're going to do, we're going to save our file as Crystal Grotto and we'll date it December 13th, 2022 for next time. And there you have it folks. We've made it to the Crystal Grotto. I think this is where we will call it quits for tonight. The walkthrough is on from Swim YBO on YouTube. I recommend that you subscribe to his channel and support his videos. His videos have been extremely valuable for me, helping me to getting through a lot of very difficult uh, moments in this game. So we're at the Crystal Grotto, just to review here. Crystal Grotto, this is a chamber of breathtaking beauty. Mighty stalagmites form structured shapes of rock encrusted with crystalline formations. Phosphorant mosses, fed by a trickle of water from some unseen source above, make the crystals glow and sparkle with every color of the rainbow. There is an opening to the west and a man-made passage head south. So according to Swim YBO, I'm going to find out what my next move will be. All right, where we pat after the Crystal Grotto, where we want to go then is we want to go south Royal Hall according to this it says Royal Hall this is the north end of a large hall with a vaulted ceiling a long tiled hallway leads north through a tall arch although the origin or purpose of this room is unclear there is a large rendering of the royal seal of Lord Dimwit, flathead, carved in the wall. So he's obviously the the regent who, who rules this land. So let's save this as Royal Hall, and it's dated January the 3rd, 2023. And we'll name this as Royal Hall. 
Okay, so after we, we get that through that, we want to go south, south. Great door, you are in the southern half of a monumental hall. To the east lies a tremendous iron door with a, which appears to be rusted shut. We'll save this as great door. Great door. All right, so far so good. It's almost 12 o'clock, but that will be, in, we'll play for an hour. So we're at the great door. What do we want to do after that? According to this walkthrough on YouTube, swim YBO. All right. Museum entrance. Just a moment, please. I'm gonna. I want a little bit of background music while I'm playing. Here we go. Play some Dungeons and Dragons, royalty free music, link in the description. All right, hang on here. All right, now we're at the museum entrance. As long as we go to east, we want to go east. Okay, obviously, let's look. Great door, you are in the southern half of a monumental hall. To the east lies a tremendous iron door, which bears to be rusted shut. There is a great tremor from within the earth. The entire dungeon shakes violently and loose debris start to fall from above you. To the east, to the right of the to the right of the great iron door iron door, a dark, a large cleft opens up, revealing an open area behind. All right, what if we go east? Museum entrance, okay, we'll save this as soon as we get, we've finished reading it. It reads, museum entrance. This is the entrance to the Royal Museum, the finest and grandest in the great underground empire. To the south, down a few steps, excuse me. To the south, down a few steps, is the entrance to the royal puzzle and to the east through a stone door is the royal jewel collection put that volume just a little bit more a wooden door to the north is open and leads to the museum of technology to the west is a great iron door rusted shut to its left however is a cleft in the rock providing a western route away from the museum. We'll save this as museum entrance. Museum entrance. Okay, and we're probably going to change the date from the third to the fourth or after this one. So once we arrive at the museum entrance, our next move is we want to go we want to go north north and for north technology museum this is a large hall which hosted the technological exhibits of the great underground empire a door to the south is open directly in front of you is a large golden machine which has a seat with a console in front on the console is a single button and a dial connected to a three-digit display, which reads 948. The machine is surprisingly shiny and shows few signs of age. A strange gray machine, shaped somewhat like a clothes dryer, is on more is on one side of the room. On the other side of the hall is a powerful looking black machine, a tight tangle of wires, pipes, and motors. 
A plaque is mounted near the door. The writing is faded, however, and cannot be made out clearly. The two machines seem to be in bad shape, rusting in many spots. We'll save our game as Technology Museum. Technology Museum, and it's the it's January the fourth, twenty twenty three. It's done. All right. What's after this? We've saved our game. Once we save our game. Our next move in the Technology Museum. So we want to, it tells me to push gold machine south. Push gold machine south. Push gold machine south, museum entrance. With some effort, you push the machine into the room with you. I was strange. And then I'm asked to open the stone door. Open stone door. The door is now open. We'll save this as museum entrance, entrance, technology museum, stone door open. All right, that's done. Now we want to push gold machine east. Push gold machine east. Push gold machine, machine east, jewel room. You are in a high ceiling chamber in the middle of which sits a tall, round steel cage, which is securely locked. In the middle of the cage is a pedestal on which sits the crown jewels of the great underground empire, a scepter, a jeweled knife, and a golden ring. A small bronze plaque, now tarnished, is on the cage. With some effort, you push the machine into the room with you. We'll save this as the Jewel Room, dated January the 4th, 2023. Jewel Room. Okay. Our next step after we enter the Jewel Room What do we need to do after this? Read plaque. I'll type in read plaque. Read plaque. Crown jewels presented to the Royal Museum by His Gracious Lord Dimwit Flathead. Dedicated asterisk 777. Capital G, capital U, ca capital E, asterisk. We'll save this as uh, jewel, uh, jewel room, read, plaque. Okay, save that. Okay, so far so good. We want to set the dial to 776. Type in set dial. Set dial to 776. The dial is set to 776. We'll save this as jewel room. We plaque 776. Dated January the 4th, 2023. 
All right. Okay, so I'm supposed to get in the machine. Get in machine. You are now in the gold machine. We want to push the button. Push button. Push button. You experience a brief period of disorientation. When your vision returns, your surroundings appear to have changed. From outside the door, you hear the sounds of guards talking. You notice that everything you were holding is gone. You notice that the golden machine has disappeared. We'll save this as gold machine. I wonder if this is a time machine. Could be. So what's our next step? After we push the button, we enter the, the gold machine. What do we need to do after that? What does SwimYBO do on YouTube? OK, after that, we want to look. Look, type in look. Look, jewel room, you are in, the, in a high ceiling chamber, in the center of which is a pedestal, which is the intended home of the crown jewels of the great underground empire. A jeweled knife, a golden ring, and the royal scepter. The room is, by appearances, unfinished. Through the door you can hear voices which, from their sound, belong to military or police personnel. More. We'll save... Uh, We'll say this gold machine. Uh, journey. Excuse me. Seven 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 six. And we will save that. we do after this. Once we arrive at the jewel room, we want to take the ring. Take ring. You are now wearing the golden ring. We'll save this as jewel room. Take ring. Save. Okay, we've taken the ring. What do we do after that? Once we take the ring, we've saved the file. We want to listen to the guards. Listen to guards. The voices are muffled by the door, which, fortunately for you, separates you. They seem to be in hated debate on the topic of the excessive nature of the royal government. We'll save this as jewel room. Listen to guards. Save. Okay. We've listened to the guards. Oh, well, apparently we, we can listen to them multiple times. So I'll type in G just to repeat what we just did. It's basically ditto. Listen to guards again. The voices are muffled by the door, which fortunately for you separates you. They seem to be in heated debate on the topic of the banishment of the Wizard of Frobaz. That was from previous uh, previous game. Okay. Let's type again G again. 
The voices are muffled by the door, which fortunately for you separates you. They seem to be in heated debate on the topic of the proper way to execute trespassers. Okay. Okay, so apparently we have to wait till the guards are gone, they walk away. So let's listen again, G again. The voices are muffled by the door, which fortunately for you, separates you. They seem to be in heated debate on the topic of the banishment of the Wizard of Frobos. Let's type again, G. The voices are muffled by the door, which fortunately for you, separates you. They seem to be in heated debate on the topic of the excessive nature of the royal government. Type G again. The voices are muffled by the door, which fortunately for you separates you. They seem to be in heated debate on the topic of the excessive nature of the royal government. Okay. Uh, G. The voices are muffled by the door, which fortunately for you separates you. They seem to be in heated debate on the topic of the proper way to execute trespassers. We have to wait for them to leave. Let's type G again. The voices are muffled by the door, which fortunately for you separates you. They seem to be in heated debate on the topic of the proper way to execute trespassers. Let's type G again. The voices are muffled by the door, which fortunately for you separates you. They seem to be in heated debate on the topic of torture as the preferred punishment for thieves. G. The voices are muffled by the door, which fortunately for you separates you. They seem to be in heated debate on the topic of the banishment of the Wizard of Frobos. G again. The voices are muffled by the door, which fortunately for you separates you. They seem to be in heated debate on the topic of the soon to be constructed royal puzzle. G again. The voices are muffled by the door, which fortunately for you separates you. They seem to be in heated debate on the topic of torture as the preferred punishment for thieves. One particularly loud and grating voice can now be heard above the others outside the room. Very nice. Very nice. Not enough security, but very nice. Now, Lord Feepness, pay attention. I've been thinking, and what we need is a dam. A tremendous dam to control the frigid river with thousands of gates. Yes, I can see it now. We shall call it... Flood Control Dam Number 2. No, not quite right. Aha, it will be flood control dam number three. Pardon me, my lord, but wouldn't that be just a tad excessive? Nonsense. Now, let me tell you my idea for hollowing out volcanoes. With that, the voices trail out into nothingness. You hear from outside the door guards marching away, their voices fading. After a few moments, a booming crash signals the close of what must be a tremendous door. Then there is silence. More. It's okay, so we're we'll save this as jewel room. Guards leave. All right. Okay, the guards have left. Then there is silence. We can open the door now. It's safe to open the door. Open door. The door is now open. Once we open the door, we want to go west. West, not east. Museum entrance. This appears to be an unfinished entrance way to the Royal Museum. There are doors to the east and north, and a blind stairway to the south. A heavy iron door to the west is closed and locked. Let's save the game as museum entrance. Museum entrance, and we will uh, uh, ba, 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 ba. museum entrance, and we will name this uh, as seven seven six. All right. Okay. Okay. 
close and lock. Now we want to type in open wooden door. Open wooden door. The wooden door opens. Then we want to go north. Technol Technology Museum. You are in a large unfinished room, probably intended to be a part of the Royal Museum. A strange gray machine, shaped somewhat like a clothes dryer, is on one side of the room. On the other side of the hall is a powerful looking black machine. A tight tangle of wires, pipes and motors. A plaque is mounted near the door. The gray machine, it turns out, is a Froba's magic pressurizer used in the coal mines of the Empire. Moving on, next uh, section of the paragraph, a Froba's magic pressurizer used in the coal mines of the Empire. The black machine is a Froba's magic room spinner. The golden machine is referred to as a temporizer. All are non-working models donated by Frobosco President John D. Flathead. Directly in front of you is a large golden machine, which has a seat with a console in front. On the console is a single button and a dial connected to a three-digit display, which reads 776. The machine is surprisingly shiny and shows few signs of age. I have a score of 6 and 153 moves. We'll save this as Technology Museum. Technology Museum 776. Okay. How much time? We have 40 minutes have, have passed already. We have 20 more minutes to go. So we've arrived at these two machines here. One makes diamonds, the other makes gold. Oh, I'll drop my old glasses there. Now what our next step is. Ba -dum -bum -bum, ba -dum -bum -bum. What do we need to do after we arrive at the Technology Museum 776? According to Swim YBO walk through. Trying to figure out what our next step is. Put ring under seat. We have to type in put ring. Put ring under seat. Wait, let's look at first look at our ring here. Inventory. You're carrying a golden ring. Look, examine golden ring. I see nothing special about the golden ring. Put gold, put ring, ring under seat. The ring is concealed underneath the seat. All right. What 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 kind of mischief are we do are we undergoing here? We want to get in machine. Get in machine. Get in machine. Which machine do you mean? The gray machine, the black machine, or the gold machine? Oh boy. Which machine do we want to go into? Get in the gold machine. Get in gold machine. You are now in the gold machine. Do we change the time? The clock? We want to turn the dial to 948. Turn dial to 948. The dial is set to 948. So this must be modern times. We want to push the button push button you experience a brief period of disorientation when your vision returns your surroundings appear somewhat altered let's save as technology museum uh, we'll save this as gold machine 
or technology based EMs. Instead of 776, we'll uh, name it as 948. 948, save that. Okay, we've altered reality apparently in this game. And uh, once we do that, we want to look. Look. Look, Technology Museum, you are in the gold machine. This is an exhibit of Empire Technology. A wooden door to the south is closed. A strange gray machine, shaped somewhat like a clothes dryer, is on one side of the room. On the other side of the hall is a powerful-looking black machine. A tight tangle of wires, pipes, and motors. A plaque is mounted near the door. The writing is faded, however. More. The ha faded, however, and cannot be made out clearly. The two machines seem to be in bad shape, rusting in many spots. Okay. Once we do that, we want to stand. Type stand. Stand, you are on your own feet again. Once we're on our feet again, we want to take, take ring, take ring. You can't see any ring here. Is it underneath the seat? Look, look under seat. You find the ring under the seat and put it on your finger. We'll save this as Technology Museum 948. Take ring. Hang on just a moment. I'll be right back. Okay. So, we've taken the ring, the ring is being worn, now, now that we've taken the ring from the machine, we want to go south, the wooden door is closed. We want to open the wooden door, open wooden door. The wooden door opens. Once we open the wooden door, we want to open the stone door. Open stone door. You can't see any stone door here. Can't go east, part of the walkthrough. Can't go that way, can't go, oh, can you go south? Go south. Museum entrance. We'll save this as museum entrance. 948. Museum entrance, 948. We'll uh, date this as January the 4th, 2023. We want to go east. The storm door is closed. Open stone door. Open stone door. The door is now open. Once we open the door, we want to go east. The jewel room. There is a golden amulet here. There is a Frobaz magic rube repellent here. There is a strange key here. There is a torch here. There, a piece of bread is on the ground here. There is a wooden staff here. There is a vial here. More. Um, there is a sword here. There is a hood here. There is a cloak here. We'll save this game as Jewel Room 948. Jewel Room. 
Okay. So we, we've arrived at the jewel room. We have a little more than 10 minutes to go. There'll be a whole hour of gameplay. So one wants to take all. Take all. Bronze plaque, what a concept. Golden amulet, you are now wearing the golden amulet. Froba's magic repellent, taken. Strange key, taken. Torch, taken. Piece of whey bread, taken. Wooden staff, taken. Vial, taken. Sword taken. Hood. You are now wearing the hood. Cloak. You are now wearing the cloak. Jewel room. Uh, Nine four eight. We'll say, we'll say uh, take all items. Okay. And our inventory. You are carrying a cloak, a hood, a sword, a vial, a wooden staff, a piece of whey bread, a torch, a strange key, a frobaz magic repellent, a golden amulet, and a gold ring. Both being worn. All right, progress is being made. Nice. So, so far, so good. I'm liking what we have. We have a score of six, 171 moves. Now we want to go west. West Museum Entrance. We'll save this as Museum Entrance. Museum entrance. Save. Then we want to go south. Royal puzzle entrance. This is a small square room, in the middle of which is a perfectly round hole through which you can discern the floor some 10 feet below. The place under the hole is dark, but it appears to be completely enclosed in rock. In any event, it doesn't seem likely that you could climb back up. Exits are west and, uh, and up a few steps north. Lying on the ground is a small note of some kind. More. We'll save this as Royal Puzzle Entrance. Royal Puzzle Entrance. Okay, so we're in a royal puzzle entrance. We have, we're at 51 minutes, 15 seconds mark. So let's uh, wrap this up soon with the royal puzzle entrance. There's a note on the floor. According to the walkthrough, we want to read the note. Read note. Warning. The royal puzzle is quite dangerous, and it is possible to become trapped within its confines. Please do not enter the puzzle after hours or when museum personnel are not present. The management. We'll save this as royal puzzle entrance note. And we save that. Okay. So far, so good. Once we wrote, read the note, we save the file. And then, what do you want to do with this puzzle? You want to enter the puzzle? We want to do, type in D. Room in a puzzle. You are in a small square room, bounded to the north and west with marble walls and to the east and south with sandstone walls. We'll save this game as room in a puzzle. Room in a puzzle. January the 4th, 2023. Okay. So we're in the puzzle now. We want to push east wall. Push east wall. Push east wall. Push east wall. The wall slides forward and you follow it. The architecture of this region is getting complex. So that further descriptions will be diagrams of the immediate vicinity in a three by three grid. The walls here are rock, but of two different types, sandstone and marble. The following notations will be used. 
dot dot equals your position middle of grid capital M capital M equals marble wall more S capital S capital S twice equals sandstone wall question mark question mark equals unknown blocked by walls room in a puzzle plus sign capital M capital M space capital M capital M space question mark question mark plus sign west plus space space dot dot space SS plus sign space space east next line plus SS space space capital M capital M plus sign space okay this truly is puzzling I'm hoping this walkthrough can get me through this I don't have to overthink this too much so I'm in the puzzle where where do we need to go after this oh wow it's get, he's showing me a diagram on the walkthrough I'll, I'll provide an illustration this is definitely interesting it's really really complicated but it's interesting all right I'm gonna be I'm going to uh, leave this game right now because I think it's bedtime and we'll leave this puzzle for another day so I'm gonna save this game as room in the puzzle puzzle com puzzle and we will we will just leave this out for another day all right warning the royal puzzle is quite dangerous and it is possible to become trapped within its confines please do not enter the puzzle after hours or when museum personnel are not present the management Hi, this is Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis. Tonight, we're going to continue on our adventure in Zork 3, The Dungeon Master. And this time, we have a very challenging segment of the game, The Royal Puzzle. Part 1 of 2 on Video Gamers Oasis. For my previous uh, podcast episode of Text Adventure Tuesday, last Tuesday, we were journeying past the, uh, past the uh, crystal grotto into the uh, royal jewel room and there we found a time machine we went back in time 776 and we did some other uh, uh, mischief in, in time to 948 and now we've arrived at the royal puzzle entrance and we're going to solve this puzzle of course with the help of swim IVO and because I want to get this walkthrough to you very quickly we're going to follow uh, swim my bo's walk through as closely as possible i'll provide a link in the description where you can subscribe to his channel and check out his original video and i'm hoping this can be helpful to you uh retro uh nostalgic gamers out there who like the old text adventure games so we're at the royal puzzle entrance we're starting right from the beginning even if i i, I advanced uh last week i am going to start fresh with the royal puzzle entrance now we're at the Royal Puzzle entrance. Just going to recap. This is a small square room, in the middle of which is a perfectly round hole, through which you can discern the floor some 10 feet below. The place under the hole is dark, but it appears to be completely enclosed in rock. In any event, it doesn't seem likely that you could climb back up. Exits are west and up a few steps north. Lying on the ground is a small note of some kind. All right, swim my wheel. Oh, by the way, I, I'm about to go to work. Sometime this this, this uh, gameplay is being made around 1:26 p.m. Tuesday afternoon. This video will be uploaded later on on my podcast Anchor.fm and Spotify. Make sure to follow if you like what you see. But uh, I, I'm going to be playing for an hour, 
So let's uh, let's see if we can solve this puzzle, and then see how far the game advances. Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. Hi, this is Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis speaking. Just taking a short break to tell you about Zoomer Wireless. Zoomer Wireless is the wireless service I use for my cell phone. Zoomer Wireless provides Canadian older adults with simple and high value solutions to stay in touch with their loved ones. I personally have benefited from this service both with a good quality talk, text, and data plan. But I really want to talk about the friendly, dedicated live agents that were more than ready to help me. Just recently, the cell phone I had with this service became damaged beyond repair, and I had no choice but to replace it. The live agent at Zoomer Wireless was very patient and helpful with my issue and was able to mail me a replacement phone within a week. On numerous other occasions, the live agent staff have been very kind and resourceful in helping me with other technical issues. I highly recommend you sign up for Zoomer Wireless. Right now, if you sign up for Zoomer Wireless, we can both receive a $50 credit towards our wireless service fee. Click the link in the description below. Zoomer Wireless. Wireless made simple. Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. So we're at the World Puzzle entrance. This is a small square room. Okay, we've already read that part. Lying on the ground is a small note of some kind. Now, according to Swim IBO, we want to read the note. Read note. Warning. The royal puzzle is quite dangerous, and it is possible to become trapped within its confines. Please do not enter the puzzle after hours, or when museum personnel are not present. The management. Well, it's good that the, uh, the king and looks after his people by providing warnings for you into a, a dangerous life-size puzzle. You want to make sure that everyone's warned that the puzzle's dangerous and do not come after hours. So at least he looked after that safety measure. So we'll save this as Royal Puzzle Entrance 948 and we'll save this as Read Note. And we'll save that. Now, after we read the note, I got my reading glasses so I can read my read the small print here in this walkthrough. Once we read the note, what's our next step? We want to type in D for down. Down. Room in a puzzle. You are in a small square room bounded to the north and west with marble walls and to the east and south with sandstone walls. We'll save this as room in a puzzle. Room in a puzzle. Save. Okay. So far so good. Once we're in the room in the puzzle, we need to... What's the next step? We need to... We need to okay. We need to push east wall. Push east wall. Alright, push east wall. Uh, the wall slides forward and you follow it. The architecture of this region is getting complex. So that further descriptions will be diagrams of the immediate vicinity in a 3x3 three three grid. The walls here are rock, but of two different types sandstone and marble. The following notations will be used. Here are the symbols that we have to keep in mind and you may want to, uh, if you're doing this walkthrough with me at the time, you may want to get a notepad and a pen and write these symbols with their de definitions right away. Here we go. Dot dot or period period equals your position brackets middle of grid. 
capital M, capital M, equals marble wall. Capital S, capital S, equals sandstone wall. Question mark, question mark, equals unknown, brackets, blocked by walls. Next, we have a title that says room in a puzzle. Now here are the weird symbols. Plus, capital M, capital M, space, capital M, capital M, space, question mark, question mark, plus sign. And underneath that is the word West, capital W, West, space, plus sign, space, space, period, period, space, uh, capital S, capital S, plus sign, space, East, with a capital E. Next line is capital S, capital S, space, space, capital M, well, first of all, after the East, word East, next line is a blank space and then plus sign, capital S, capital S, space, period, period, space, capital M, capital M, plus sign, space, and East. The word East, and it says more, so we have to type, we have to press the Enter button. So after that, We've we've received the definition. So let's see what we can. What we we're gonna save this as room in a puzzle. Push east wall. Push east wall. And we'll save this as also as notations. Notations. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, we save that. Now that we got our notations, what do we need to do now? Now this is a very intricate puzzle. We're going to see if we can get through this puzzle. There is a diagram of the puzzle, and I will provide an illustration of it. I have a PowerPoint little thing here that gives you the original layout of the Royal Puzzle. So we start in this top left. The marble walls are walls that cannot be moved, so there's all around the border of the puzzle and a few of them in the middle. Um, we are the blue circle. Um, this red square is where we currently start. That's where the hole in the ceiling is for the exit. Sandstone movable walls have ladders on them. This one with the arrow pointing right has the ladder on the right face. This one with the arrow pointing left has the ladder on the left face. So in the end, this one will be here and we will be able to use the ladder to uh, get out of the maze. But to begin with, we push the east wall, so this is what happened. We move that wall there, and we are now here. And as you can see, if we go back to the maze, this checks out with what we can see, this little 3x3 three three area right there. So, <laughs> I also want to point out this green block down here, or this green square, which is currently covered by a sandstone is where one of the last of the seven items that we need is. So we need to go down there and hide it. Or uh, take it, I mean, and then escape. So, <laughs> to begin with, we're going to go south twice, and then southeast, and then push the south wall, so it'll look like this. So let's go back and do south, south, southeast, and then push south wall. And as you can see, it lines up exactly with this 3x3 area right there. So we're going to go north, the northeast, and then push the south wall once. And All right. So he typed in the letter S, south. Room in a puzzle. After we go to the east, after we go south, we want to type south again. South again. Room in a puzzle. So we typed in south twice. After the second time, we want to go SE, or Southeast, Room in a Puzzle. We're going to save that as Room in a Puzzle. Type this as Go Southeast. Save that. Push South Wall. Push, push, South Wall. 
The wall slides forward and you follow it in this to this position. You hear a soft snap from behind the wall. You are pushing room in a puzzle. And then we'll wind up in the green square. So let's go north, northeast, and then push south wall. And as you can see, there is this old and dusty book, which is what we need. So let's take the book and then push the south wall once more. South wall, we want to type in N for north. Room in a puzzle. We want to go northeast. North, east. We are going to push the south wall. Push south wall. Push south wall. The wall slides forward and you follow it to this position. Room in a puzzle. The center of the floor here is noticeably depressed. Aw, poor little floor. Maybe it needs a little bit of uh, therapy. Uh, nestled inside the niche is an old and dusty book. Let's save as push south wall. And when we push the south wall, this is what will happen. We'll be here. Hmm. Interesting. Now we just need to get this square back to this position, but we cannot do that super easily by just pushing it because we need to be able to be uh, in a clear space on the opposite side. So if we go over here, hypothetically, if we did this and then push this to the west, there would be no way for us to get into this location right there to push it down. So we simply cannot do that. So if we go back to the original, we need to get this one out of the way first before we do anything else. So to do that, we're going to go east to northeast and then push it west. So let's do east, northeast, push west wall. So now we should be looking like this. And if we double check, it's exactly like that. So now we're the book. We want to take book. Take book. Take it. Save this as push south wall. Book taken. Room in a puzzle again. North, east. Room in a puzzle. Space. A big, big whole bunch of space, and then we got the capital M, capital M, plus sign. So after we go northeast, our next move, we want to push the west wall. Push. West wall. The wall slides forward and you follow it to this position. Room in a puzzle. We're going to go to the opposite side by going southwest, northwest, then northeast, and then push the south wall. So let's go southwest, northwest, northeast, and push south wall. And now it looks like this. So we'll go southwest one more time, then push the east wall once. Southwest, push east wall. We push the west wall. We want to go southwest. Southwest. Room in a puzzle. So we've gone southwest. And I want to go northwest. NW. Northwest. Room in a puzzle. So now it looks like it should be like this. And then we can go northeast one more time. And then push the south wall. And then it'll be down here out of the way forever. West. We want to go northeast. NE. Northeast, room in a puzzle. So we go northeast, room in a puzzle, push south wall, push south wall. The wall slides forward and you follow it to this position, room in a puzzle. The floor here is notably depressed. Oh, poor little floor, needs some comforting. So let's look up northeast again. Good thing I saved that. Let's look. Room in a puzzle. Uh, we're looking at northeast. Room in a puzzle plus sign. Capital M, capital M. Space, space, space. Capital S, capital S plus sign. West, good. Plus sign. Okay, so we got the we got that correct part. Now we want to push the south wall.
push sell wall so we're missing the question mark we've obviously did something wrong so let's see if we can retrace our steps Think of it, you really have to use your imagination with these kind of uh, puzzles. I'm going to go back a bit. So, room and a puzzle. see if I can retrieve the one I go into go go southeast I'll go back a bit here let's look all right the room in the puzzle we're, we've gone we've taken it back a bit we have a score of seven moves 162 we have the plus sign, the plus sign, the west, the plus sign, the period, period, capital, south, capital S, capital S, plus sign, east, and then plus sign, capital S, capital S, question mark, question mark, plus. But after that, what would we, want, we want to find exactly what, we don't want to miss anything this time. So we don't want to miss anything here. These are very particular puzzles. We're almost there, come on. Oh boy. Push east wall. Let's see if we can find start start from the beginning. Push east wall. Push west wall, push south wall, push east wall. Okay, so we have pushed the east wall. I have a different puzzle, part of the puzzle, then gone back a bit. Plus sign, capital M, capital M, space, capital M, capital M, question mark, question mark, plus sign, west, plus sign, Space, uh, period, period, capital S, capital S, plus sign, east, uh, plus sign, S, capital S, capital S, space, space, uh, capital M, capital M, plus sign. Let's see if we can get to that part. So instead of narrowing everything, I'm going to see if I can retrace my steps exactly without saying too much. I'm not going to repeat everything I do. So I'm just studying the puzzle again. This video may be edited for time. It's a very troubling puzzle and I don't want to bore too many people with too many words. We'll make it right to the point. So again, you, you can see a demonstration of the puzzle being solved by Swim by Bo.
Okay, we'll take these glasses off. It's making me my eyes blurry. So once we go... Want the one that goes east. So let's go back a bit. Just enlarge the screen on my phone here. So I made two spaces, almost like a knight on the chessboard. So the capital S, S after the plus sign and capital M, M. Okay, after that. We want to type in S or cell. Room in a puzzle, plus sign. All right, west. So I went south already. Then we want to go south again. All right, east. And then we want to, once we go we went south twice, then we want to type in southeast. And then we have that symbol of the question mark with the plus at the end. East. Once we do that, we want to push the south wall, push south wall, the wall slides forward, you follow it to this position, you hear a soft snap from behind the wall, you're pushing, room in a puzzle, east and, okay, so we're in west and in east, on west on the on left side, east on the right side. So far, so good. After we do that. You can see the diagram, makes it a lot easier for you to see it. Okay, then we want to go north, room in a puzzle, west on the left side, east on the right, and we're going to northeast, west on the left side, east on the right side with a question mark, question mark, plus sign. Right, we want to push the south wall. Push south wall. Push south wall, the wall slides forward, you follow it to this position, room in a puzzle. And then it says the center of the room here is noticeably, de noticeably depressed, nestled inside the niche is an old and dusty book. I think we finally did it, folks. I think we finally made it to the book. So let's uh let's say room in a puzzle. We'll save this as push, push, south, wall, and we'll save this as the word dusty book. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Once we save that part, we want to take the book, take the book. Taken. Save this as a dusty book because we want to take the book and save it so at least we'll have a place to move with. And after that, once we take the dusty book, okay, I missed that part.
once we take the dusty book, take the book, we do that. Pause my, my video. Take it. That's we've already at the point the dusty book. Once we take the dusty book, we want to take the book. Done. Once we take the book, push south wall. Push, push south wall. The wall slides forward. You follow to this position. Room in a puzzle. Plus sign. Capital S, capital S, plus sign, west, plus sign, uh, period, period, space, uh, plus sign, space, east, and we have plus, capital S, capital S, next line, space, capital S, capital S, space, space, uh, plus sign. As we push the south wall, room in a puzzle. Save this as let's do, let's save this as uh, the last one will be plus sign. Okay. We have the plus plus ss and the, and the space and the capital S S. Okay. These are just letters here. Once we do that. Another example of the diagram on this being displayed. Just move the blue circle diagonally a bit. Just have half an hour to go before this. I have to get to work, so let's see if we can finish this puzzle at least. All right, once we do that part, except went to the south wall, we want to go type in east, room in a puzzle. Uh, plus sign, capital S, capital S, plus sign, west, cap, uh, plus sign, period sign, period sign, space, uh, plus sign, east, plus, next line is plus, capital S, capital S, space, space, capital M, capital N, plus sign, east. <clears throat> now, we want to, once we've gone east, we want to go northeast. Northeast. Excuse me. A little bit of a burp there. We'll go uh, room in a puzzle. Northeast. We'll type in an extra capital M, capital M, plus sign, and a little bit of a dash. Once we gone, we've gone northeast. We want to push push west wall. Push, push west wall. The wall slides forward. You fall to this position. Room in a puzzle. Plus sign. Question mark. Question mark. Plus space. Capital M. Capital M. Space. Space. Plus sign. Next line. West. Plus sign. Capital S. Capital S. Space. Period sign, period sign, space, space, plus sign, space, space, east. Next line is plus sign, whole bunch of space, and then plus sign. Once we push the west wall, and then a more of a diagram. A 
let's see what our next move needs to be. Once we push the west wall, we want to type in southwest. Room in a puzzle, plus sign, capital S, capital S, space, uh, plus sign, next line is west, plus sign, period sign, period sign, plus sign, next uh, space, east, and the next line is plus sign, capital S, capital S, space, capital S, capital S, space, space, plus sign. And we'll save this as self rest. So we just want to keep track of everything we do. And we'll save this as push west wall. Push west wall southwest. And how is our di how's our symbols looking? Are they looking the same? We have an east and west, and we have a plus sign capital S capital S space capital S capital S and space and a plus sign. After we went and typed in southwest. After we type southwest, we want to type in northwest. Northwest. Room in a puzzle. Plus sign. Whole bunch of space. Plus sign. Next line is west. Space space. Plus sign. Space space. Uh, period sign. Period sign. Space. Capital S. Capital S. Plus sign. Space space. East. Next line is uh, plus sign. Space space. Space space. Is plus sign. So northwest. Now, now we want to go northeast, northeast. Room at a puzzle, plus sign, capital M, capital M, uh, capital S, capital S, uh, period, uh, plus sign, next line is west, and we have plus sign, we have period sign, period sign, capital M, capital M, plus sign, space, space, east, and we have plus sign and capital S, capital S, question mark, question mark, plus sign. How are you? ever going to get through this puzzle soon, I don't know. We want to push, push, push south wall. The wall slides forward and you fall it to this position. Room in a puzzle. Plus sign. Whole bunch of space, capital M, capital M, plus sign. West, cap space, space, plus sign, space, space, space. Uh, period sign, period sign, space, 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 plus sign, space, space, east. Uh, next line is, <clears throat> pardon me, plus sign, space, 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 capital S, capital S, space, space, plus sign. The center of the floor here is not noticeably depressed. So we push the south wall, northeast, push south wall. Add a letter. Well, to add uh, plus symbol, capital S S, and plus symbol. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. What do we do now? Once we push the south wall, we want to go southwest, southwest, room at a puzzle, plus sign, whole bunch of space, plus sign, next line is west, space, space, plus sign, space, space, period sign, period sign, space, capital S, capital S, plus sign, space, space, east, next line is plus, capital M, capital M, space, capital S, capital S, space, question mark, question mark, plus. Okay. Alright, so far so good. Once we've gone southwest, we want to type in push east wall. Push east wall. The wall slides forward, you fall into this position. Room in a puzzle. Plus sign, space, space, space. Plus sign, west, space, plus sign, space, space. Period sign, period sign, space, um, 
capital S, capital S, uh, plus sign, space, base, east, next line is plus, sign, capital S, capital S, space, capital S, capital S, space, question mark, question mark, plus sign. We'll save this as push east wall. Push east wall, and that is southwest. Once we do that, we'll look at the diagram again. Once we push the east wall, we want to go northeast. Northeast. Room in a puzzle. Plus sign. Space. Capital M. Capital M. Space. Capital uh, Plus symbol. Next line is west. Space, space, plus sign, uh, we'll just say period, period, plus sign, east, plus sign, capital S, capital S, plus sign. <clears throat> After we go northeast, we want to type in push south wall. The wall slides forward and you follow it to this position, room in a puzzle. Plus sign, space, 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 plus sign, west, plus sign, period sign, period sign, plus uh, space, east, and we have plus, capital S, capital S, space, capital S, capital S, space, capital M, capital M, plus sign. So we'll save this as push south wall, south wall, and we'll type it in and add the letters N E for northeast and we'll add uh, plus M M okay push the south wall The, the diagram should illustrate what's happening here. It's really weird. This puzzle is very puzzling. It's like a Rubik's more complicated than a Rubik's cube. Once we push the south wall, it's capital M, capital M. Plus sign, okay. We want to type in, type in northwest, room in a puzzle, plus sign, capital M, capital M, plus sign, west, plus sign, period, period, plus sign, east, plus sign, and plus sign. So, so far, so good. The center of the room is noticed to be depressed, and we type in N again for room in a puzzle, plus sign, capital M, capital M, space, space, space. Capital S, capital S, uh, plus sign, west, next line, plus sign, space, space, uh, period sign, period sign, capital M, capital M, plus sign, east, and then plus sign, and plus sign. So then, after we go north, we want to go north a second time. Room in a puzzle. Capital S, capital S, with a plus sign in the front, and then capital S, capital S, plus sign after. West, plus sign, capital M, capital M, period sign, period sign, uh, south, uh, SS, uh, capital S, capital S, plus sign, east, and plus sign, and capital M, capital M, plus sign. There is a ladder here, firmly attached to the east wall. Oh man, are we actually going to get out of this puzzle? Ah, room in a puzzle, we will call this room in a puzzle, ladder. We want to get the hell out of this puzzle. Ladder. Once we get to the ladder, east of the east wall, we want to go north. 
room in a puzzle. Plus sign, question mark, question mark, space, uh, capital M, capital M, space, question mark, question mark, plus sign. Then the next line is line that says rest, plus capital S, capital S, space, period sign, period sign, space, cap, uh, capital S, capital S, plus sign, space, space, and the word east, next line is plus capital M, capital M, uh, space, 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 and we have capital S, capital S, plus sign. So what do you now? Push the east wall. Push the east wall. The wall slides forward and you follow to this position. Room in a puzzle. Plus sign, capital M, capital M. Space, capital M, capital M. Space, question mark, question mark, plus. And the next line is the west. Plus sign, but space, space. Uh, period side, period sign, south, south, or SS plus. Space, space, east. And next line is plus. Capital S, capital S, question mark, question mark, plus. I hope that wasn't just a temptation. Oh boy. We actually get out of this puzzle? Once we push the east wall, we want to go southwest. Room in a puzzle. Plus sign, question, uh, capital S, capital S, space, 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 plus sign, west, plus sign, capital M, capital M, space, uh, period sign, period sign, capital, uh, or space, pardon me, capital S, capital S, plus sign, space, space, east, then we have the plus sign and a whole bunch of space and capital M, capital M, plus. There is a ladder here firmly attached to the east wall. We'll say this as southwest. East wall, ladder, east wall, ladder, save. Once we go to the east wall ladder, oh my gosh, how much more of this do we have to do? Not much. Firmly attach the east wall. Then we want to. No, no. Capital S. Question mark, question mark. Puzzle. Once we go southwest, what do we do now? Hello, we're almost home here. Okay, east, question mark, question mark, plus sign. All 
right. Ladder here to the east wall. Then we want to go south. Room in a puzzle. Plus, uh, plus sign, capital M, capital M, space, space, uh, capital S, capital S, plus sign, uh, west, plus sign, uh, space, uh, period sign, period sign, plus, I mean, M, M, plus, e, uh, space, east, and we have plus sign, and we have a plus sign. Once we go south, to go southeast, room in a puzzle, so far so good, and we want to go northeast, room in a puzzle, and I'll just show you the, the, what I'm doing without narrating too much, because I want people to figure it out for themselves, also I'm running out of time, I'm going to type in N for north, and with a capital M, capital M, plus sign at the end of the puzzle. And push west wall, push west wall. The wall slides forward, you follow it to this position. Room in a puzzle, plus sign, uh, space, space, uh, capital S, capital S, plus sign, west, plus sign, capital S, capital S, space, period side, period side, space, space, plus sign, plus sign, uh, space, east, and we have plus sign, question mark, question mark, space, cap, uh, capital M, capital M, space, space, plus sign. We will save this as push west wall. North, and then push west wall. Push west wall. Once we push the, the west wall, we want to type in NW, room in a puzzle, uh, plus sign, question mark, question mark, space, capital M, capital M, space, capital M, capital M, plus sign, next line is west, and we have plus sign, capital S, capital S, space, period sign, period sign, space, 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 plus sign, space, space, east, and then pl uh, plus sign, question mark, question mark, space, uh, capital S, capital S, space, space, plus sign. After we go northwest, where do we go now? We want to push south wall. The wall slides forward and you follow it to this position. Room in a puzzle. West on the left side, east on the right, you know the routine. And we type in G for repeat. I think it's the wall slides forward and you follow up this position. West on the left side, east on the right, with a question mark, question mark, plus sign instead of a capital M, capital M. Oh boy, let's get to this puzzle, come on. All right, once we go G, we want to type in SW, room in a puzzle, plus sign, uh, next line is West, plus sign, uh, space, space, period, period, uh, capital S, capital S, plus sign, space, East, next line, line is plus, N spaces, and then plus sign. <clears throat> we want to go type in SE, room in a puzzle, with west on the left side, east on the right, with plus sign SS, capital S, S, space, capital S, capital S, space, capital S, capital S, plus sign, okay? So 
So once we go southeast, once we go east, we want to push. So we go, once we go southeast, you don't go to push. We go to NE. And there is a different different symbols with west and east. Plus symbol, plus symbol. And then we want to push the west wall. Push west wall. Push west wall. The wall slides forward. You fall into this position. The center of the floor is noticed to be depressed. Once we got that part, we want to go G. Type G. The wall slides forward. You fall into this position. Room in a puzzle. Plus sign. Plus sign. West. Capital. Uh, plus sign. Capital S. Capital S. And dot dot space plus sign east. Plus sign plus sign. Okay, so far so good. And then we want to type in G again. The wall barely gives. Let's save us as we're a puzzle. The wall barely gives. Alright. Okay. Okay. Do 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 do. We almost got this. Once the wall barely gives, we want to type in northwest. Room in a puzzle, symbols on display, with uh, plus sign, capital S, capital S, space, capital S, capital S, plus sign at the en end, after Northwest, and we'll type in N again. Room in a puzzle, plus sign, capital S, capital S, plus sign, West, plus sign, question mark, I mean, capital S, capital S, M, M, plus, and East. So let's plus. Okay, so far, so good. Once we type in north, we want to type in northwest. Room in a puzzle, question mark, question mark, after a plus sign. And this symbols it, it says in the ceiling above you is a large circular opening. We'll save this as northwest. Room in a puzzle. Northwest. Large, large. Circular opening. Save, please. All right, what's after that? Once we go to the large opening. Oh my god, push south wall. Push south wall. The wall slides forward and you follow it to this position. Room in a puzzle. East, uh, question mark, question mark, south, south, plus sign, okay. Oh boy, this puzzle. Once we go to that position. Do a southeast. Room in a puzzle. Capital S, capital S, plus sign. And then we want to go southeast again, southeast a second time. Room in a puzzle. West and east, plus sign, plus sign at the end. We want to type in SW. Room in a puzzle. West and east.
as you go southeast. Oh boy, what's this here? Did I take the wrong move? No. Comes before southeast. All right. After southwest, you want to type in southeast. There is a wall there. How about northeast? Nope. Let's, uh, Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take a break because we're really pushing it here. We're going to save our puzzle right here. Large circular opening, we'll, we'll, sit, we'll name it here and we'll continue on next week. Leave this as a cliffhanger, part one of two. This is Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast speaking. We've been playing Zork 3, the Dungeon Master. In our previous adventure, we were puzzled, deeply puzzled, by the Royal Puzzle. In this episode and Section 1, we solved the Royal Puzzle. Alright, I'm in the room in a puzzle. Type in look. Plus sign, question mark, question mark, space, capital M, capital M, space, capital M, capital M, plus sign. Next line, west, space, 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 plus sign, capital M, capital M, period sign, period sign, space, 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 plus sign, space, space, east, next line, plus, question mark, question mark, space, capital F, capital S, space, 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 plus sign. In the ceiling above you is a large circular opening. Okay, this is where I left off. I'm now typing the word push south wall. Type enter. The wall slides forward and you follow it to this position. Room in a puzzle. Plus sign, capital M, capital M, space, 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 plus sign, west, space, space, plus sign, capital M, capital M, space, period side, period side, space, 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 plus sign, space, space, east, next line, plus sign, question mark, question mark, space, capital S, capital S, space, 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 plus sign. Next, I want to type in southeast, room in a puzzle. Plus sign, space, 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 capital M, capital M, plus sign, next line, west, space, space, plus sign, capital S, capital S, space, period sign, period sign, space, 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 plus sign, space, space, east, next line, plus sign, question mark, question mark, space, space, uh, capital S, capital S, space, 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 plus sign. After that, 
I need to type in southeast again. Room in a puzzle. All right, I'm just going to save time by not reading all the codes. There'll be video there. So I'll type in southwest now. Room in a puzzle. After that, we want to type in the words push north wall. The wall slides forward and you follow it to this position. Room in a puzzle. Codes are listed there. And below that, it reads, there is a ladder here firmly attached to the west wall. After that, we want to type in the, word, the letter G. The wall slides forward. You follow it to this position. Room in a puzzle. So that's just, uh, that G, I, I assume, is a uh, shortcut letter. It's a code to repeat the, the previous command. Okay, we type in G a second time. The wall slides forward and you follow it to this position. Room in a puzzle. Codes are listed below. Then we want to type in G a third time and the wall barely gives. All right, so that was an error that I followed, but it's not, uh, it's not, it's not a too big of a, an error, even though the wall doesn't give, we can proceed to somewhere else. We want to type in I for inventory. You are carrying a very ancient book, a cloak being worn, a hood being worn, a sword, a vial, a wooden staff, a piece of whey bread, a torch, a strange key, a froboz, magic guru repellent, a golden amulet being worn, a golden ring being worn. Brackets. More. You type in enter and it just completes the list there. So I believe we're going to need the very ancient book later on in the game. That's why we're checking the inventory, just to make sure we have that in our collection of, of items, because it will prove useful later on. We type in northwest now, room in a puzzle, codes listed below. In the ceiling above you is a large circular opening. There is a ladder here, firmly attached to the east wall. After that command has been completed, our next step is to type in U, or up. With the help of the ladder, you exit the puzzle. Royal puzzle entrance. Lying on the ground is a small note of some kind. Woohoo! Oh, this is awesome. Time to save my game. We've made it, folks. We've made it outside the Royal pu Puzzle entrance. What an achievement. And just to celebrate, I'm going to take a brief break just to rec recollect my thoughts, to catch my breath. And we'll All right, we're back in Zork 3, the Dungeon Master. We just escaped from solving the Royal Puzzle. We've climbed up the ladder. We're at the Royal Puzzle entrance, lying on the ground, is a sm small note of some kind. We've saved the game, <clears throat> so we can always have a safe spot. Always good to have a safe spot in case something happens, you can go back. And we're going to continue on our adventure in this game. Inventory. You are carrying a very ancient book, a cloak being worn, a hood being worn, a sword, a vial, a wooden staff, a piece of whey bread, a torch, a strange key, a Frobaz magic repellent, a golden amulet being worn, and a golden ring being worn. It's very important that we have the very ancient book, which we obtained from the Royal Puzzle. We will need this book later on in this game. So we're going to type in West in the in after we look at their inventory. Side room. You are in a narrow room, lit from above. A flight of steps leads up toward the north, and a metal door leads to the east. Alright, so after I save 
my game, I save the room. I type in the letter N for North. Royal Puzzle Entrance. Lying on the ground is a small note of some kind. Next, I want to type in North again. Museum Entrance. Save my spot. Next, after that move, I want to type in. Next, I want to type in W for West. I'm at the Great Door. Next, I want to type in N, and I go to the Royal Hall. Type in N North a second time. We're at the Crystal Grotto. After that move, next we want to type in West. We're at the Tight Squeeze again. After returning to the tight squeeze, we want to type in West again to the Creepy Crawl. Save my spot there. Update the date. Then we type in North. We're at the junction. Standing before you is a great rock. Save my spot, change the date. Type in E again for East, where they damp passage. Then we type E again, east, we're at the dead end. You have come to the end of two adjoining passages to the west and the northwest. Oh boy, a dead end. Now where do we go from here? What we need to do after that, we want to type in northwest. Engravings room. You are in a room with passages heading southwest and southeast. The north wall is ornately carved, filled with strange runes and writing in an unfamiliar language. So now I'm instructed, according to the walkthrough, we want to type in next move. According to the walkthrough, we want to type in SW for Southwest. Then we're at the damp passage. Now we would type in Northeast back at the engraving room. So nothing's happened yet. So after that, we type in SW again, Southwest. We enter the damp passage and then we Re-enter northeast the engravings room, and surprise, surprise, an old and wizened man is huddled asleep in the corner. He is snoring loudly. From his appearance, he is weak and frail. Your sword has begun to glow very brightly. Very surprised. So after we've saved our spot, we're at the engraving's room, we've met the sleeping old man. What do we do once we encounter this, the sleeping old man? Our sword is glowing very brightly. We type in, wake man. The old man is roused to consciousness. He peers at you through eyes, which appear 
much younger and stronger than its frail body, and waits as of expecting something to happen. So after we encounter the awoke the woke man, the woke old man, what we need to do that then. We have to type in give, give bread to man. He looks up at you and takes the whey bread from you. Slowly he eats the bread and pauses when he is finished. He starts to speak. Eh, perhaps what you seek is through it there. He points at the carved wall to the north where you now notice the bare outline of a secret door. When you turn back to the old man, you notice that he has gone. Your sword is no longer glowing. So after he directs you, we want to type in open secret door. The massive stone door opens noiselessly. Beyond the once secret door are dark forbidding stairs that lead down to a passage below. Dim light as from torches, can be seen in the passage. Save our spot. We definitely want to save this section of the game for later in case something happens. We can always go back. So once we open the secret door, we've entered the dim light of the room. We want to type in north. Button room. You are standing at the southern end of a long, dimly lit hall. To the south, stairs ascend into darkness. To the north, the corridor is illuminated by torches set high in the walls, out of reach. On one wall is a red button. Our next move, after we enter the button room, we want to type in push button. Click. After we save our spot, always name it and date it. In case something happens, we can always go back to it. What we need to do after the button, pushing the button, we want to type in north. Beam room. You are in the middle of a long north-south corridor whose walls are polished stone. A narrow red beam of light crosses the room at the north end, inches above the floor. The corridor continues north and south. After we enter the beam room in the north end, we want to type in our I for the inventory. You are carrying a very ancient book, a cloak being worn, a hood being worn, a sword, a vial, a wooden staff, a torch, a strange key, a frobaz magic blue repellent, a golden amulet being worn, and a golden ring being worn. So, so far our inventory has not changed, but we, we will need that very ancient book later on, just not yet. So once we check our inventory, we want to deal with this pesky laser beam that's in interfering with our pathway. We want to type in drop sword. You conveniently drop the sword in position to block the beam of light. This, uh, this part of the game reminds me of the scene with uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones and Sean Connery from the movie uh, Entrapment. But a bit of, bit of, bit of um, high-tech laser beam in a fantasy game that we have to deal with. So we got through that. After we drop the sword, we want to type in N for North. Hallway. This is a part of the long hallway. The east and west walls are dressed stone. In the center of the hall is a shallow stone channel. In the center of the room, the channel widens into a large hole around which is engraved a compass rose. The hallway continues to the south. A large mirror fills the north side of the hallway. Next, we'll want to type in south again for the beam room. There is a sword here. All right, so that's we need to keep that there. We want to type in S again for button room, south. And after that, we want to type in push button. Click, snap. And then we want to type in north, beam room. There is a sword there. Okay, so far so good. Then we want to type in north again, hallway. This is a part of the long hallway. The east and west walls are dressed stone. In the center of the hall is a shallow stone channel. In the center of the room, the channel widens to a large hole around which is engraved a compass rose. The hallway continues to the south. A large mirror fills the north side of the hallway. <clears throat> Excuse me. The mirror is mounted on a panel which has been opened outward. So after entering this hallway area, I first 
tried to type in go in mirror. So I typed that in and it says you hit your head against the mirror as you attempt this feat. That didn't work too well. So what do we do? We, we want to continue on our adventure. Where do we go from here? We can't go in the mirror like Alice in Wonderland and look to the looking glass. What do we do? We want to type in north. Now we're suddenly inside the mirror. You are inside a rectangular box of wood whose structure is rather complicated. Four sides and the roof are filled in and the floor is open. As you face the side opposite the entrance, two short sides of carved and polished wood are to your left and right. The left panel is mahogany, the right pine. The wall you face is red on its left half and black on its right. On the entrance side, the wall is white opposite the red part of the wall it faces and yellow opposite the black section. The painted walls are at least twice the length of the unpainted ones. The ceiling is painted blue. In the floor is a stone channel about six inches wide and a foot deep. The channel is orientated in a north-south direction. In the exact center of the room, the channel widens to a circular depression perhaps two feet wide. Incised in the stone around this area is a compass rose. There's more, the word more in brackets. So what we need to do after, <laughs> there's more to read after this. So next we want to type, we want to press the enter button and it continues to read, running from one short wall to the other at about waist height is a wooden bar, carefully carved and drilled. This bar is pierced in two places. The first hole is the center of the bar and thus the center of the room. The second is at the left end of the room as you face opposite the entrance. Through each hole runs a wooden pole. The pole at the left end of the bar is short, extending about a foot above the bar, it ends in a hand grip. The pole has been dropped into a hole carved in the stone floor. The long pole at the center of the bar extends from the ceiling through the bar to the circular area in the stone channel. This bottom end of the pole has a T bar a bit less than two feet long attached to it, and on the T bar is carved an arrow. The arrow and T bar are pointing west. Whew, I sure said a mouthful there. That is an incredibly complicated puzzle now. It seems even more pu uh, puzzling and complicated than the royal puzzle inside this mirror. So there you have it, folks. That is the end of this section. This is section two of our royal puzzle and the meeting the old man uh, let's play um, Text Adventure Tuesday. We're going to continue on shortly after this one. It's going to take a little bit longer to edit it but I promise it will come. We are going to solve this mirror puzzle and continue on. Thanks so much for tuning in. Previously on Zork 3, the Dungeon Master, Text Adventure Tuesday, Season 4, Episode 16, Section 2, Meeting the Old Man. Go in mirror. So I typed that in and it says you hit your head against the mirror as you attempt this feat. That didn't work too well. So what do we do? We, we want to continue on our adventure. Where do we go from here? We can't go in the mirror like Alice in Wonderland and look to the looking glass. What do we do? We want to type in north. Now we're suddenly inside the mirror. You are inside a rectangular box of wood whose structure is rather complicated. Four sides and the roof are filled in and the floor is open. As you face the side opposite the entrance, two short sides of carved and polished wood are to your left and right. The left panel is mahogany, the right pine. The wall you face is red on its left half and black on its right. On the entrance side, the wall is white opposite the red part of the wall it faces and yellow opposite the black section. The painted walls are at least twice the length of the unpainted ones. The ceiling is painted blue. In the floor is a stone channel about six inches wide and a foot deep. The channel is orientated in a north-south direction. In the exact center of the room, the channel widens to a circular depression, perhaps two feet wide. Incised in the stone around this area is a compass rose. There's more, the word more in brackets. So what we need to do after, <laughs> there's more to read after this. So next we want to type, we want to press the enter button and it continues to read, 
Running from one short wall to the other at about waist height is a wooden bar, carefully carved and drilled. This bar is pierced in two places. The first hole is the center of the bar and thus the center of the room. The second is at the left end of the room, as you face opposite the entrance. Through each hole runs a wooden pole. The pole at the left end of the bar is short, extending about a foot above the bar, ends in a hand grip. The pole has been dropped into a hole carved in the stone floor. The long pole at the center of the bar extends from the ceiling through the bar to the circular area in the stone channel. This bottom end of the pole has a T-bar a bit less than two feet long attached to it, and on the T-bar is carved an arrow. The arrow and T-bar are pointing west. And now, the exciting continuation of Zork 3, The Dungeon Master. Text Adventure Tuesday, Episode 16, Section 3, Inside the Mirror. All right, now that we've stepped inside the dimension of the mirror, our first thing we need to do once we are inside the mirror, and we've saved our spot, we want to type in raise short pole. The pole is now slightly above the floor. The next step after that, we've saved our spot, we want to type in the words push yellow. The structure rotates clockwise. The arrow on the compass rose now indicates northwest. The mirror quietly swings shut. I'll provide a link in the description for the exact scene from uh, the walkthrough from Swim YBO's uh, walkthrough with the mirror. Inside the mirror, he shows that he even draws a diagram of what it looks like, what it should look like in your imagination. But just to give you a better idea of the process you're going through, some kind of mechanical, magical process with this mirror. After you've saved your spot, you want to type in the letter G. The structure rotates clockwise. The arrow on the compass rose now indicates north. Pushing the yellow panel doesn't work. So what you need to do after that, after you've repeated the push yellow, you want to type in lower short pole, and it reads the pole is lowered into the channel. Next, you want to type in the words push mahogany. It's a type of wood. The structure slides north and stops over another compass rose. Save us. Next, we want to type in the letter G to repeat the process. The structure slides north and stops over another compass rose. Then you want to type G again. The structure slides north and stops over another compass rose. Then we're going to type G a third time. The structure has reached the end of the stone channel and won't budge. So after that process, what we, what we need to type in after that, those three G's, we want to type in raise short pole. And it reads, the pole is now slightly above the floor. After we've saved our spot, what we need to type in next, after we raise the short pole, we want to type in push yellow. The structure rotates clockwise. The arrow on the compass rose now indicates northeast. After we've saved our spot, our next step, we're going to type in G. The structure rotates clockwise. The arrow on the compass rose now indicates east. Type in G again. The structure rotates clockwise. The arrow on the compass rose now indicates southeast. 
Type in G a third time, the structure rotates clockwise. The arrow in the compass rose now indicates south. After those three Gs, we're going to type in push pine. The pine wall swings open. Excellent. Open sesame. Once we do all that, we save their spot. We want to type in north. As you leave, the door swings shut. Dungeon entrance. You are in a north-south hallway, which ends to the north at a large wooden door. The south side of the room is divided by a wooden wall into small hallways to the southeast and southwest. The wooden door has a barred panel in it at about head height. The door itself is closed. Save our spot. Now we've escaped the mirror, but we have to go just a little bit farther before we take a break from section three. We're just going to go a little bit further into this adventure. After we uh, approach the wooden door, which has a barred panel on head, head height, we want to type in knock on door. And it reads, the knock reverberates along the hall. For a time, it seems there will be no answer. Then you hear someone unlatching the small wooden panel. Through the bars of the great door, the wrinkled face of an old man appears. After a moment, he starts to smile broadly. He disappears for an instant, and the massive door opens without a sound. The old man motions, and you feel yourself drawn toward him. I am the master of the dungeon, he booms. I have been watch watching you closely during your journey through the great underground empire. Yes, he says, as if recalling some almost forgotten time. We have met before, although I may not appear as I did then. You look closely into his deep, lined face and see the faces of the old man by the secret door, your quote-unquote friend at the cliff, and the hooded figure. You have shown kindness to the old man, and compassion toward the hooded one. I have seen you display patience in the puzzle and trust at the cliff. You have demonstrated strength, ingenuity, and valor. However, one final test awaits you. Now, command me as you will, and complete your quest. Narrow corridor. You are in a north, uh, pardon me, a narrow north-south corridor. At the south end is a door, and at the end, north end, is an east. Continued, east-west corridor. The door is closed. The dungeon master is quietly leaning on his staff here. We'll save our spot here. Previously on Zork 3, the dungeon master. Text Adventure Tuesday. Once we do all that and save their spot, we want to type in north. As you leave, the door swings shut. Dungeon entrance. You are in a north-south hallway, which ends to the north at a large wooden door. The south side of the room is divided by a wooden wall into small hallways to the southeast and southwest. The wooden door has a barred panel in it at about head height. The door itself is closed. After we uh, approach the wooden door, which has a barred panel on head height, we want to type in knock on door and it reads, the knock reverberates along the hall. For a time, it seems there will be no answer. Then you hear someone unlatching the small wooden panel. Through the bars of the great door, the wrinkled face of an old man appears. After a moment, he starts to smile broadly. He disappears for an instant, and the massive door opens without a sound. The old man motions, and you feel yourself drawn toward him. I am the master of the dungeon, he booms. I have been watching you closely during your journey through the Great Underground Empire. Yes, he says, as if recalling some almost forgotten time. 
We have met before, although I may not appear as I did then. You look closely into his deep, lined face and see the faces of the old man by the secret door, your quote-unquote friend at the cliff, and the hooded figure. You have shown kindness to the old man, and compassion toward the hooded one. I have seen you display patience in the puzzle and trust at the cliff. You have demonstrated strength, ingenuity, and valor. However, one final test awaits you. Now, command me as you will, and complete your quest. Narrow corridor. You are in a north, uh, pardon me, a narrow north-south corridor. At the south end is a door, and at the end, north end, is an east West corridor. The door is closed. The dungeon master is quietly leaning on his staff here. And now, the conclusion of Zork 3, the dungeon master. All right, are you ready to complete this text adventure game? I hope you're ready because I certainly am. We are going to figure out the last puzzle in the game. So we left, uh, left off our game. We were at the dungeon entrance. It reads, you are in a north-south hallway which ends to the north at a large wooden door. The south side of the room is divided by a wooden wall into small hallways to the southeast and southwest. The wooden door has a barred panel in it at about head height. The door itself is closed. I'm going to quickly look at SwimYBO's uh, walkthrough. I'll provide a link in the description where you can watch his video and subscribe to his channel. But I'm using his walkthrough heavily. It's been very helpful for me so far. So at the dungeon entrance, what our next step is. We want to knock on door. Knock. Let's get this thing set up here. Knock on door. Knock on door. The knock reverberates along the hall. For a time, it seems there will be no answer. Then you hear someone unlatching the small wooden panel. Through the bars of the great door, the wrinkled face of an old man appears. After a moment, he starts to smile broadly. He disappears for an instant, and the massive door opens without a sound. The old man motions, and you feel yourself drawn toward him. I am the master of the dungeon, he booms. I have been watching you closely during your journey through the great underground empire. Yes, he says, as if recalling some almost forgotten time. We have met before, although I may not appear as I did then. You look closely into his deep lined face and see the faces of the old man by the secret door. You're quote-unquote, friend at the cliff, and the hooded figure. You have shown kindness to the old man, and compassion toward the hooded one. I have seen you display patience in the puzzle, and trust at the cliff. You have demonstrated strength, ingenuity, and valor. However, one final test awaits you. Now, command me as you will, and complete your quest. Oh boy, we're so close to the end here. Narrow corridor. You are in a narrow north-south corridor. At the south end is a door, and at the north end is an, pardon me, an, more to the text here. North, um, <clears throat> and the north end is an east-west corridor. The door is closed. The dungeon master is quietly leaning on his staff here. So what our next step, now that we've reached the old uh, man in his in his secret room, Our next step, what is our next step that we need to, to take care of once we reach the narrow corridor? The dungeon master is quietly leaning on his staff. Now we want to type in north, north. We're at the south corridor. You are in an east-west corridor which turns north at its eastern and western ends. The walls are made of the finest marble. An additional passage leads south at the center of the corridor. The dungeon master follows you. Let's save our spot here as south corridor, south 
corridor and we'll save that as January the 24th, 2023. That's the date this game was, uh, gameplay was recorded. Now, after we reach the south corridor, we next need to do something else. We need to, after we go south corridor, we, we need to type in west. West corridor. This is a hall with polished marble walls. It widens slightly as it turns east at its northern and southern ends. The dungeon master follows you. Let's save our progress as West Corridor. The 24th of January. Once we reach the West Corridor, we want to type in North. N. To the North Corridor. This is a wide East-West Corridor which opens onto a Northern parapet at its center. You can see flames and smoke as you peer towards the parapet. The corridor turns south at either end, and in the center of the south wall is a heavy wooden door with a small window barred with iron. The door is closed. The dungeon master follows you. Let's save our spot as North Corridor. January the 24th. So after we reach the North Corridor, we want to type in North again. And we reach the parapet. You are standing behind a stone retaining wall, which rims a large parapet overlooking a fiery pit. It is difficult to see through the smoke and flames which fills the pit, but it seems to be more or less bottomless. The pit itself is circular, about 200 feet in diameter, and is fashioned of roughly hewn stone. The flames generate considerable heat, so it is rather uncomfortable standing here. There is an object here which looks like a sundial. On it are an indicator, arrow, and, in the center, a large button. On the face of the dial are numbers 1 through 8. The indicator points to the number 1. To the south, across a narrow corridor, is a prison cell. The dungeon master follows you. And we'll save our game as Parapet. Not to be confused with a Chia Pet. Wah, wah, wah. All right, moving on. Once we reach the Parapet, what's our next step? What do we need to do here? We want to turn, type in turn, dial to 8. The dial now points to 8. Then we want to turn dial to four. The, di the dial now points to four. And we want to push button. The button depresses with a single click and pops back. All right, so far so good. Once we do that, then we want to go south. Type an S for south corridor. Nope, not, no. pardon me. Once you type in south, we go to the north corridor and it says north corridor, the dungeon master follows you. Then we want to type in look, look. Look, north corridor. This is a wide east-west corridor which opens an, onto a northern parapet at its center. You can see flames and smoke as you peer towards the parapet. The corridor turns south at either end and in the center of the south wall is a heavy, wooden door with a small window barred with iron. The door is closed. The dungeon master is quietly leaning on his staff here. Once we reach that, uh, we've looked at the north corridor. We want to open the door. Open door. The cell door opens. Then we want to type in south. Prison cell. You are in a featureless prison cell. You can see an east-west corridor outside the open wooden door in front of you. Your view also takes in the parapet and behind a large fiery pit. 
Behind you, to the south, is a bronze door, which is closed. You notice that the dungeon master doesn't follow you. We definitely want to save our progress as prison cell. Prison dash cell, January the 24th, 2023. So once we reach the, the prison cell with the, to the south is a bronze door. That door is very important. We will need to look more into that. They want to ask, ask, ask dungeon master to go north. He says, he responds, very well, I am at the parapet. All right. We'll save this as ask dungeon master go north. All right, so far so good. Now we want to ask dungeon master to turn dial to two. He replies, if you wish, he replies. We'll save our progress. Dial two. We'll save that file in case something happens. We can always go back. Then we want to ask, ask dungeon master to push button. He responds, if you wish, he replies, prison cell. You are in a bare prison cell. Its wooden door is securely fastened, and you can see only flames and smoke through its small window. On the south wall is a bronze door, which seems to be closed. You notice that the cell door is now closed. All right, so far so good. What do we next need to do? Let's check our inventory. Inventory, you are carrying a very ancient book. A cloak being worn, a hood being worn, a vial, a wooden staff, a torch, a strange key, a Frobaz magic guru repellent, a golden amulet being worn, and a golden ring being worn. Now we want to unlock, unlock bronze door with key. The key seems to mold itself to the shape of the lock. With a mere twist of your hand, the massive bolt gives way. Okay. All right. I think we're, we're making progress here. Um, open bronze door. On the other side, open bronze door. On the other side of the bronze door is a narrow passage which opens out into a larger area. Now I want to go south. South. Treasury of Zork. This is a large room, richly appointed in a style that bespeaks exquisite taste. To judge from its contents, it is the ultimate storehouse of the wealth of the great underground empire. There are chests here containing precious jewels, mountains of Zork mids, type of currency, rare paintings, ancient statuary, and beguiling curios. On one wall is an a noted map of the empire showing the locations of various troves of treasure and of several superior scenic views. On a desk at the far end of the room may be found stock certificates representing a controlling interest in Frobaz Co. International, the multinational conglomerate and parent company of the Frobaz Magic Boat Co. Etc. Oh boy. As you gleefully examine your newfound riches, the dungeon master materializes beside you and says, Now that you have solved all the mysteries of the dungeon, it is time for you to assume your rightly earned place in the scheme of things. Long have I waited for one capable of releasing me from my burden. He taps you lightly on the head with his staff, mumbling a few 
well-chosen spells, and you feel yourself changing, growing older and more stooped. For a moment, there are two identical mages standing among the treasure, then your counterpart then your counterpart dissolves into a mist and disappears, a sardonic grin on his face. For a moment you are relieved, safe in the knowledge that you have at last completed your quest in Zork. You begin to feel the vast powers and lore at your command and thirst for an opportunity to use them. Your potential is seven of a possible seven in 285 moves. Hit any key to exit. So we're at the uh, treasure room. We have a score of seven moves 285. Hit any key to exit. And there you have it, folks. We did it. We solved the adventure. We solved the last puzzle in Zork 3, the Dungeon Master. I really had a good time. This was the, this was the cherry on the Sunday, I must say. Uh, we were able to complete the last puzzle in this very challenging game. I've, I must say this has been one of the most challenging text adventure games I have played yet, but probably the most satisfying. I really feel good. Leave your comments below what you thought about the game so far, what we had a good time. Let me know what you thought about my gameplay. I know that I've, lot, I've got a lot of, um, you know, a lot, a lot of things I didn't do in the game. For example, uh, the vial uh, that, the, that the sailor gives to you earlier in the game by the ocean, the, the cave ocean. That vial, if you drink the vial, it makes you temporarily invisible. Uh, I don't know how temporarily, but it makes you invisible. And you're able to go through the mirror room. I'm not going to show, I'm not going to demonstrate it, but uh, SwimYBO demonstrates it. Uh, link in description. Uh, the If you drink the vial, you become invisible and you don't have to do a lot of the uh, the uh, f fiddling and tinkering with the mirror box. You're able to just walk right through the mirror box without being noticed by the two dangerous uh, deadly statues that are that will mow you down if you get between them. So that was uh, a minor thing that I didn't do, but I didn't feel it was necessary. It was more satisfying to solve the puzzles. So I hope, I ha I hope you had a good time as much as I did enjoying this game. I'm going to take a little break
Video Gamers Oasis Website YouTube Channel